Hi everyone, welcome to day 14 of 30 Days of Night, a photo marathon where I shoot one roll of film every day for 30 days with 30 different cameras. Today I'm going to be shooting with a Canon EOS 620 and a 16-35 f2.8 L-series lens. And today's film is Ilford Delta 100. Today I'm acting a little paranoid. There's no reason why this camera should have light leaks. However, uh, I pulled the back grip off of it because it was coming loose. Here it is right here. So after that I thought about the window and the one camera um, and the side of the door and the other and I just thought, you know, throw a little electrical tape on there and be good. Now somebody suggested gaff tape. I just haven't had a chance to go out and get some. Today with the 16 to 35 millimeter, it's going to be all about getting into tight spaces. Walking for two weeks, and a flight of stairs still wins me. Every time I say how many shots I've been through, it's always been 12. Today it's 18. Okay, I was done up there pretty quick. It's hard when there's nothing but 16 to 35. When I started this thing, I thought I was going to have to go to a different location every day. But it's actually more of a challenge to go to the same locations and try and shoot them in different ways. Okay, now that I'm back home and in the dark room, there's a couple things I wanted to mention. First, I met a couple of guys while I was on Stephen Ave that were also out shooting. One digital guy, one guy with an Olympus Trip 35, I think, uh, with some T Max in it. To those guys I met, if uh, if you want, drop me a line in the comments, and we'll go out shooting sometime in the next week. It'd be great to have a fresh perspective on the city. 
I don't expect light leaks, but I think I've only put one roll through this and it wasn't on a day this sunny, that's for sure. We'll find out pretty quick, I guess. Oh, the negatives look really good guys, no light leaks. The last test will be if they dry clear or not. Negatives are basically dry now. There's a little bit of cloudiness, but not much. I honestly think that switching from wood to metal was the best thing I could have done so far. However, I might benefit from a filter on my tap. I have really old pipes. If you're going to take a picture of a busker, always remember to tip. Lots of neat stuff going on in this image. Here's my top pick for today. There are several reasons why I love this photo, besides the composition exposure, and then I've always loved how a wide angle lens distorts reality. I sat on the sidewalk to get a pairing of these two buildings, a contrast, the old and the new. When I saw these two, I waited until they were in frame, an old man and a young man, in the same order, mirrored. You can't plan for that. You just have to get out there as much as you can. <laughs> 